All right, so when you're testing a cap under a load, I, what I got set up here, we got a around uh, 30 by three microfarad capacitor. Um, this is the common on the capacitor. The guys inadvertently put compressor, uh, but this is the common. This is the fan. This is a uh, hermetic for the compressor. And when you're measuring a on this, let's just we'll set up on here a capacitor load test on the guided test. And then I'm just going to go here. I'm going to say it's a around 370 rated microfarad is 30 and here we're at three done so now we got set up for this i'm going to hit continue and i got a meter connected and all i want to do here is i'm first of all going to check the compressor so i'm going to go back over here where i get the purple winding and clip it on i got the meter set to kilowatts and i'm going to measure voltage between the common and hermetic on there and you'll see it it'll it'll dial in we're at 30 and now all i'm going to do is hit capture on there now on the fan side it can be a little bit tricky i'm going to show you two ways of doing it one is i'm just going to get, get grab just the leg i'm not on a 10 loop multiplier now you got to be careful you can see it's reading 0.36 amps here if i get it real close 0.37 or if i back it up a little bit 0 0.33 0 0.32 right it's gonna you need to be away from large inductive loads like the contactor so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure from the common to the fan and again you can see it's about 3.1 i'm gonna hit capture and now it's got a pass complete so now let me let me view the test now hit okay view test project and then this is the guided test at 1036 and you can see 30, 3.1, and everything is a pass on there. So that's a pass test, and we can sh share that. So let me show you a second way of doing this. And what I've got here, and again, I, I, I have a 10-loop multiplier here. So all I did was tie this in series with a capacitor. If you counted up these loops, there's 10 loops of wire here. And it's basically going to multiply the amp reading times 10. So what I did now is I have it set for a rated microfarad of 30 and 30 because three times 10 is 30, right? So now what I'm gonna do is just connect this on around the 10 loop multiplier. And when I do the fan here, actually let me do the compressor first, just like we did last time. So I'm gonna clip around, get the compressor. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna go here from common to hermetic. Wait for that to stabilize, hit capture. And now I'm gonna move up here and I'm gonna go on to this 10 loop multiplier and I'm just gonna measure from common to fan. And there's our same capture, gonna pass and complete. And I can view the test. And you can see it's a 30 microfarad, so it needed to, it needed to be uh, in that 30 microfarad range which is in, so we're all good there and we can again share the test. So those are two ways of measuring, one with a 10 loop multiplier, one without. The 10 loop multiplier does give you a more accurate amp reading, but as long as you're not near a large inductive load, you usually don't need it, as long as you make sure that your wire's near the front of the clamp. And that should get you through your issue.